blocked. Because I asked the same thing. I go, which phone is it? Oh, so something's goofy here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what a beginning. What a beginning. Yes. You need to plug the speaker in. I will. Uh, suddenly, good thing no one is on right now, I don't think. But they're not expecting me. I didn't get to send a text out. What's going on with that? It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. I'm just trying to get settled in. Hello? No, I mean the text. What's going on with the text? Oh, the text. Well, I have my application submitted. And uh, hello, we do finally have somebody on. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the bumpy beginning. <laughs> Hi, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, we had a little bit of a bumpy start. I'm so sorry for the delay. Um, we uh, And that we did not send out a notification. I mean, we're only three minutes late. That's not bad. You're right. We missed Except last week. week. So, um... As you know, we I had a paint disaster happen last week. So uh, <laughs> that that remember that that happened before the family house fire happened. Hey, Daddy. Yes, <laughs> but I didn't get to see it. Nobody did except my mother. Yep. <laughs> and sure. David. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, we we it literally happened. I dropped some paint. It splashed up into my face, the camera, all over the place. But um, we got it cleaned up in a hurry. So we missed last week. Thank you, you guys. Um, but we had our project all ready to go. We're going to um, work on this beautiful radio cabinet today, which I'm kind of excited about. And you're going to help me to make some really important decisions about this cabinet. Um, anyway, um, I'm Lynn, and uh, Megan is here. We Hi. are at LNJ Goods in Medina, New York. Thank you for joining in. And we are on week 24 of the Basement Chronicles, which means we have merely... Uh, Halfway to go in a year. Uh, yeah, 56 like, weeks. Yeah, another, well, 52 weeks in a year, right? Or 52, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 52 I weeks. I think there's only 25 weeks in a year. <laughs> Megan would love it if it was only 25 weeks. <laughs> well, you'll miss out on next week because you'll be in the Adirondacks. That's right. Yeah. So sorry. Sorry. It'll be my birthday, too, I it's think. It's Megan's yeah. birthday week and her brother's birthday week. We've got a lot. It's all coming now. Oh, are we back, you guys? You're stuck like Chuck. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> are we? It looks like we're back because we're back. Okay, there. because I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not there. I'm walking up there. All right. So messed up. <laughs> okay. Life is messed up right now. Yeah. Um, open the door. You guys have, you know what? This is life and this is the real deal. Oh, somebody just said, yeah, you're back. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, this is just real deal life, and that's, you know, we're not a slick operation here. <laughs> we just do the best we can do. And um, if you prefer the um, the other type of video where I, I come on and I say this and say that and demonstrate this and demonstrate that, and we're done and out of here in less than 12 minutes, I do a lot of edited videos as well. So those are great little instructional videos. And while you're here, um, if you have not already done so, we'd love it if you would um, subscribe to the page, if you would give us a like, and definitely a comment. We always appreciate that. It helps our channel so much when you can do that. Um, and as always, I will, I will throw the description and products that I'm using in the description box. That's right down below. I know if you're watching on a TV, it might be a little, I don't know how you get to it, but <laughs> under this video, under, there's a little arrow on my phone and, and on my computer that you can click on. And it, if you drop it down, it tells us everything that we used and has links to everything that we used. And if that's not working for you, you can always email me, info at lnjgoods.com. Oh, email email the heck out of her. I don't loves mind. getting your emails, I right? I do. I do. Indeed. Yeah. 
So, all right, this is a music cabinet that we, um, we, we acquired this a while ago. It's a lovely piece. And of course, when I first, I first did a little, uh, maybe Instagram story of it or something on Facebook and like, what would you do with it? And of course, you know, they're all over the place. I wouldn't touch it. Leave it as is. <laughs> Don't do a thing to it to like do some, paint it with peacocks, roses, and sunshine. Like, <laughs> so we need to make a decision about this. And, and it really has been um, on my mind so much lately about um, uh, not only when you're in business, selling furniture, what sells, but then you struggle as a furniture artist because you want to do all of the pretty and wonderful things. And I know that, that it's, it's kind of a tough place to be. And so I put a little like questionnaire thing up on Facebook last, last week, maybe this week. I don't know. Like if you're buying furniture, do you buy neutrals or do you buy the, the painted more artistic things? Please let us know in the comments. Cause Probably I am both. I, would think. I am d diving deep into this. We have sold both, but I would say overwhelmingly people buy neutrals, right? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm just saying like you might have neutrals in your house, but also like an artistic piece. Absolutely, and that, that came up a lot. Like, you buy neutrals, but then they'll be very excited about like adding that one accent piece, maybe at the end of a hallway or um, as a little a little cabinet um, in the dining room or whatever, you know, a, a bedside table. There's so many, uh, someone did mention, like, I prefer my house not to look like a three-ring circus. <laughs> I play for it too, but it doesn't it seems like it's out of my hands. Girl, <laughs> in your dining room right now, you it's have you have a tiny three ring circus. You have a little three ring circus going on with that my little and... miniature circus <laughs> she has. She deserves the world. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's um I would love to hear your opinions. Let's talk about that. And and um tell me, are you the furniture artist that wants to do the beautiful, beautiful blended and decoupaged and transfer pieces. And then, um, and do you, but do you feel like you're stuck always painting things in white and off white, um, or black and ash in our case, <laughs> it's where sometimes we can get away with a midnight blue, right? <laughs> so, um, this piece here, um, I'm going to tell you right now, I, this is a great piece. Um, this was an old uh, music cabinet. It, the, the top lifts. Um, it had previously been refinished, I'm sure, but it had some problems. Um, and so JR had to fix, um, he had to rebuild the, the, the bottom, the balls on the bottom of the feet. And if you've ever had a piece like this, a dresser or something there, like it, it's rounded at the bottom and then part of it sliced is like kind of sliced right off. That is, um, that is the place that he literally like will take a piece, a block of wood, he'll shape it and he'll glue it back on in place. Those are really tough. Like I would not totally strip this down. First of all, it's just not, it is not worth it. It is not worth my time or the energy to strip, completely strip and completely refurbish a piece like this. It, I could never sell it yeah. and have it be worth my, my investment of time and resources. That so, has to be like a sentimental thing that you do. Absolutely. You love yeah, absolutely. So, are you asking me the cost of the fusion? I'll send you a link to that. But this little, but see this little piece right here, that has had an added block. It's easier for me just to paint over it. It really is. And so then the next question is, what color am I going to paint it? I wanted to use one of the new fusion colors. So I decided on Chestler. This almost has a bohemian blue look to it. But Debbie's DIY Bohemian Blue is a more, a little more green undertones. Um, so I decided that we would paint it that. So if you, pretty. If you have another idea other than just white or off white, let me know. Then we have this space right here, which I thought, oh my gosh, it is 
crying out for something pretty on there. It really is. And, and so I think it already has a lot of really pretty details, and it's an unusual piece. So maybe it's okay to add some decoupage to it and create something fancy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, instead of taking, like, a typical, like, okay. So I think, here's how I think. I think if I'm doing a dresser, and I know I've got a matching set of dressers, I want to paint those in a very neutral color because that's what's going to sell. People are more apt to buy a dresser in a neutral, um, and especially a matter. But a little piece like this that's already kind of fancy and pretty is a, one of those statement pieces, Megan, that, you know, like this is one I would paint like red or, mm -hmm. um, although we have a cool piece here that we're working on and it's like, oh, I want to do it red. But then what did I say this morning? Oh, maybe not. Maybe we should just do it like putty or something. No putty. <laughs> but here's what I was thinking. Um, I have been in love with these papers for so long. Um, this is a decoupage queen gorgeous. paper, and uh, the colors in her are just perfect. And I was trying to figure out if I could get her on this door, right? Get her on this door and then have enough left to put up here. And I think it's like just enough. It's going to cool. be just enough, right? And um, so that's for this. What do you guys think? Jane said that's actually a picture of her when she was younger. Is it Jane? Jane Rogers. Look at you, you redhead. How pretty. So um, I think I'm going to prep this as long as everybody's okay with it. Are you guys are you guys watching? Are you okay with me doing this in that beautiful, deep, muted, everyone that blue? is going to love it. Okay. Let's hope somebody locally is going to love it enough to buy it. So I am, I want, I don't want her head cut off, but I also, I'm working, this is really tight here. I just want to make sure that I'm going to have enough of this up at the top to put, and I, and I do, yeah, it's going to just make it. So typically I would tear this. I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm going to first cut right here. Darling, darling, Shirley had everything ready for me to go. She's the best. She is. I was, you guys, do you follow Michelle at Serendipity House? No. She did an amazing, huge tie boy with one of these Waterford um, um, prints from Decoupage Queen. It was so, it was stunning. And she did it on a darker blue. It wasn't this one, it was a different print. And she, um, and she mm -hmm. did her dresser. I think it was a lot of bohemian, a lot of shaded colors, and um, it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. She used the Chateau transfer on it in places. Oh, my gosh. It was literally a piece of art. If you got, you guys should, should look for that because it was stunning. She did sell it. Um and it was gorgeous when I was messaging with her, and and she's like, I just don't know what to price it, and I'm like, I don't know, like forty five thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars <laughs> and fifty cents. I that's what I would do. She put a lot of time and effort into that, which brings us to your time and effort that you put into your pieces, and that there is a value to that. It really is, and don't. Don't discount that. Stephanie B. thanks you for your advice on using the phosphate-free TSP. Isn't it a wonderful cleanser? Here's another, like, hot tip. I 
I keep some of that at home to um, use, I always say this, inside inside my window wells where it gets yeah. spready and exposed mm -hmm. to the out, outdoors. Oops, I want her over. <gasps> Good thing I was paying attention. I want her over and I want most of her dress on there. So let me do this first. Does anybody have an opinion about the the choice that I'm gonna? Everybody likes it. You all like it? Okay. Good. I think it's gonna be cool. Are you painting underneath it? Yes. So I'm just prepping this. Actually, you know what I should do? Oh. I should actually let me get this prepped first, and, and then, then I'll finish try. it. Yes. So um, when. That's what I was thinking about. You do is I'm going to prepare my surface with, um, with some white or light colored paint so that um, I have a, a good light background for my decoupage. If you decoupage over a darker surface or darker wood, it's going to meet down those colors. And we want to make sure that we're seeing great in every one of these beautiful colors and brush strokes. Is this the first thing you've painted in this color? It is. Color? It is. Yeah. Yeah. We've had so much going on that, good gracious, we just have not had a minute to. Oh, oh here, that's wet. Right there. That's wet. Look what I did. All over my sneakers. Oh. I'm going to end up painting these sneakers too. She's going to paint them white first because that way it'll show up fast. Yes. When you apply a wet paper, to a surface, what's going to happen is it becomes a little more transparent, and then it will, so it'll, whatever color is behind it, is going to reflect the edge. Does that make sense? Paint, or it'll meet the paint. Honestly, what I should have done is taken these right out. I should have taken the door right off. Are these little pins that come right out, Shirley? Or no, they're not. It's not that kind of pin. Shirley. He's like, no. He's like, no. No, we can take it off though if you want it on. How? What? I would just unscrew them, right? Yeah. No. Oh, they're. Oh, it's a flathead screw. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should. I'm gonna quick get some paint on this, and then we'll we'll decoupage it flat. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. And I don't need a completely solid, you know, perfect paint job underneath here. I just want to get it white or light color. All righty. Let's see. Hopefully. I'm going to have you. Yeah, I know it is pretty glitchy here. Just bear with us. But they said this has been happening on YouTube today. Mm -mm. Should have done this to begin with. Do you guys ever, when you're working on a piece, like think when you're part way through it, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that? Mm -hmm. It's me all the time. All the time. Are we getting in and out? A little bit. A little glitchy. A little but you're glitchy. Okay. They're hanging in with us. You guys are awesome. We just seen you. This tech. You. And we didn't get a notification because I had to hang up with our texting people um, with, I don't know, there's some kind of federal, they her. federal like regulation now. That, and I submitted the application. Well, apparently it didn't get approved because I mistyped like one letter in my address or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, so... And also because of those inappropriate pictures you were sending. Megan, please. <laughs> Absolutely not. It is weird, though, man. They will... They literally... Like, every time I use the word resin, 
they flag me. Like, um, we do not allow, uh, or you you may, or this text may not send uh, because it violates. What was that violate? I don't know. Is there a drug that's called resin or something? Because that's what it said, drug terminology. Like, what? What? Wow. So much. So much I don't to know learn. anymore. I'm an old lady. So much to learn. It would make a good wine for that little cabinet. Oh, Oops. Almost there. Shirley's trying so hard. Do hold it because you know what happens. If you shift, it's gonna Whoop! Those chimes, that's oh. Shirley's ringtone. Alrighty, perfect. Oh, thank you so much. So I'm gonna quickly get um, the rest of this painted, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some of that pretty blue color on there. Have you guys seen the new fusion colors? They're incredible. They really so are how do you want to be now that you're working? So I'm just gonna get this on here real quick, and then put this on. Write that down and start painting. Okay, now I've got that coated. That'll dry in just a minute. Do they have a fusion that is mint in color? What one would you say um, is most mint? Little Frog was, but yeah, they don't but have that anymore. anymore. Mm -hmm. DIY has one that's oh. literally called Mint Chip. That pink is so pretty. <laughs> Sandy said, Megan, I never say your name in my head without saying it in the exasperated tone your mother uses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Really? Do I sound exasperated when I talk to my daughter? No kidding. <laughs> okay, I have my beautiful Stone Meester One brush, and this is called Chessler. Oh, I'm hoping that the color will pick up on there. This is going to totally change the look of this piece. I don't think there's like a truly mint fusion color. Mm -hmm. You've been concerned with the that it came it's not mint. It's really But we have all of the colors on the website to scroll through. That conservatory would be... That's like a grasshopper. It would, but if you mix that with a pigment or a picket fence, you yeah. get a nice mint color. Yeah. It is a really good color, Patty. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to just take that off. It's so rich. Every one of these new colors, other than conservatories, they're very moody and deep and dark. And I, and I think that, again, when we talk about, like, furniture or color trends, we tend to go, um, we tend to like shift to the extremes. We go from very white and light and stark and neutral to um, to deeper tones. Mm -hmm. Are you painting white in the little arch? Exactly, that's, that's uh, exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, you know who didn't? Who? Jessica. Jessica, what? You know something? You are... This color is Chessler. Thank Shannon. goodness for Jessica. And guess what? I'm not going to try to get all the way into the corner or on the edge. All I'm going to do... I will work with a detail brush um, to get inside here. I 
do you use your own spit to clean up? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Shirley never does. <laughs> never. <laughs> you gotta film and you watch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, I do your spit. Okay, let's get back to it. Back to business, all right? Let's get back to business. This would be beautiful, like with a little gold buff, little gold on here to highlight that. That might be a nice option later on. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful option. Oh, Megan. <laughs> would you put gold on every single thing? Yes. You would too? Silver a little, just gold, a touch. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorite furniture artists is Katja. She's in Maine, and Katja will put gold on everything. She loves gold. <laughs> she really does. She puts it on everything. Right. How much easier is it to paint inside of a doorway when you take the door off? <laughs> it's awesome. It's feeling under the weather. What's wrong? Lisa? We went live at 1.30 <clears throat> Eastern Standard Time, Joan. Boy, I am hoping by next week I'll have my um, my community text thing all figured out. Boy, oh boy. I hope by next week you have that figured out. Uh -huh. Ben and Rebecca have a place to call home for a bit. Yep. Um, what else? Are You'll we be happily to enjoying I your... hope I'll be able to relax in the Adirondacks and my son will be settled in at college. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those things that I hope will just be hey, tidied up. This is exciting. We won't be live here on Monday um, because JR and I, we're taking Jonathan back to school. Yes, thank and you so then much. I'm so excited for the first time since before COVID. We're going back to Madison Bellville to do some antique shopping and vintage shopping. And I can't wait. And I'm so jealous. Like this. <laughs> but, yeah. but we might go live from here. Maybe we will. We can go live from Hamilton Park. It's beautiful there. It's so beautiful. I'm going to come back to this, guys, just because, but I want to cover up that right now because it's really making me crazy. <laughs> oh. It's pretty cool. It's almost, how would you describe it? It's almost, gorgeous. It really is. It's beautiful. It's not, I mean, it's blue, but it's green. It's very moody. It's so moody. It's almost really, really dark teal. You're right. Yeah. Um, Jessica said Pretty. I'm supposed to be working, but I got the message saying that we were going live. So of course, I had to watch. Oh, you were too, Jessica. You, that's another thing. Those of you that are on YouTube, you can subscribe. If you subscribe, it's moving back in with me. I'm sure she's not super excited, but I can't wait. <laughs> right? oh, that's so nice, Shannon. Oh. How old is she? Were you, um, did you have an MTS and she's coming back? Jane said you will be 10 minutes from her at Bouffville. Jane, do you go? Go to Bouffville? Oh, the sinuses for Lisa are giving her a migraine. I'm so oh. sorry. That's terrible. That's what she got. She said I tell her we'll be painting everything and she groans, rolling her eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> like, Mom. The white half round um, above the door is because she's Just, going to put decoupage paper there. And Deb said, sorry to complain, but the sound is awful. I'm sorry. I think YouTube's a little glitchy today. Is anybody having that problem? Oh, well, this could explain it, Deb. What? That was my... So sorry. All right, should we just start over? No, <laughs> no. Definitely. Absolutely not. I have children. I have shipping. I have kids. <laughs> I am so sorry. I apologize. She's 
she used to, but her health says no. She can't. Yeah, I understand. We're we're actually Mom's wondering. Mom's worried about it too. Both Jr. and I are worried about like, oh my gosh, do we need to get scooters? <laughs> oh, and then we're just praying, like, please let it be like moderate. Temperature. It looks like the high will be seventy nine, which is good. Because boy. If it's hot, and sometimes it is hot, that is about Bill. Um, but we have a pretty much, I mean, we've been doing this for years, and we pretty much have, like, a route. We know where we're going, and um, we're actually going to break it up into two days this time. Jane so. says need three. Oh, girl, I could stay there a whole week, but <laughs> guess who won't? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's leave won't. him home and I'll go with you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you with your bad knee. <laughs> oh, sure. You guys can just get motorized scooters. <laughs> that would not be fun, I'm telling you right now. We'll bring the wagon and you can tow me. <laughs> <laughs> but then where will I put my stuff? I have my, I have my little red wagon. I know. It is fun to go. It is fun to go. That's one of our that's our one of our favorites that we have gone to for years and years and years and years. And I'll tell you another place that we love to go and just have not been since pre COVID is is Elkhorn up in Wisconsin. And I know I've gotten messages from some of you that have said, if you're ever in Elkhorn, please let me know because you know, we we'd meet you, we would that's, I've met some wonderful friends through um, meeting up at Elkhorn. It's been great. This color is called Chesler. Is this sound better, Diane? Deb. Mom. Deb, sorry. And thank you, Deb, for letting us know. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now they can hear everything, Sophia. She just kind of wants <laughs> to know if I'm t about band tonight. <laughs> Remember when we did our live and I shared um, how I painted three projects with three samples of paint? Um, I, I, one technique that I use when I do that is to make I'm using less paint, much less paint, especially on the spindles and dirty places like this. It's better to do two or three coats than to try to do one coat and get drips and brush marks on these little, um, these little places like I'm doing right now. <laughs> spindles and chair spindles and furniture legs. All of that. And I'm not going to go like upside down on you guys, but um, what I'll do is I'll tip this on its back on the table to be able to get underneath and make sure that under all of these areas and under like under here that I am able to get complete coverage in those areas bye Shirley bye -bye. thank you so what we did here we prepped this by giving it a good sanding and also um, cleaned it well with TSP and then on this piece, because it had a glossier finish on it, I just wanted to make extra sure that our coverage was good. So I used a coat of Ultra Grip on this. Deb just asked. I did. So you don't sand or prime first. So yes, I hope we, do. That. we, yes, don't we do. Yes, we do. We don't always prime. Not priming, but always sand and wash. You do the same prep if you're using Ultra Grip. Joan said she would love to meet you at Elkhorn. Oh, yes, Joan. Oh, I'm really hoping that we can go for the last last show of the season this year. We're kind of talking about when we might want to head out that way. And and um, good question, Kathleen. <laughs> What's that? How many painted and decorated pieces of furniture do you think you can combine in one room without it looking overdone? Oh. I think it's very personal. Sometimes more is more. Yeah, absolutely. I Depends think on your style. So if you think about um, what you love and what you're comfortable 
living with, I think anything goes. Um, if you take that very boho kind of look, it does combine a lot of color, pattern, and texture. And, and it can be beautiful. I, my thought is if you're going to be combining colors and textures, I would think totally or value wise. Value wise, you want them kind of the same. Like you don't want a real deep, dark. Well, no, I take that back. I could see a deep, dark navy with a pale pink. Totally, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I think you want to look for, if you're using, you want to look for those something either in your textiles or in one dresser piece that kind of pulls it all together. Um, you want that, if, you're, if you or want- rugs. Or rugs. Or rugs, like job. a textile, yeah, absolutely. So you want it to, to incorporate many of the colors that you're using in that room. Okay, Deb, I just put a link to the Ultra Grip. It's a fusion product. Um, Jane is asking, do you go to the Brimfield Antique Show? You know, we haven't gone in many years. It's so overwhelming to me. It is so overwhelming. It's a huge show. And so I tend to get, and it's the same, if I, if I were to walk, if I walk into a co-op, I get very overwhelmed. It's, it's so much stuff all at once. And so I tend to, like, I'll go through... I kind of whip through those things quickly. My eyes are looking for certain things. I have certain things I'm looking for, so I go through fast. And then, um, but but again, Medicine Bothell is great because you can actually do it like one day, one good long day. We could do it, but two is better. Um, I. I still will go through, I, I'm not one of those people that stops at every single vendor and goes through every single box and every salt and pepper shaker and no, I am going with a goal, with a purpose in mind. What am I looking for? And um, so I try to, I mean, yeah, there are pieces that we will see that maybe are outside of what we had thought we were going to look for. Um, those are those special pieces that like I would never pass up like I would I, I would get them because they're a wonderful paint color or they're a very unusual piece so um, but I have um, I actually I just have standards that I always look for that I always know are You're going to work oh I'll give them up Go ahead. white iron stone white iron stone pictures um, vintage alarm clocks, um, leather books, um, trophies, or no trophies, yes, but boy, they're pricey, man. They are hard to come by at a decent price for resale. Um, I actually have a whole entire list right on my phone so that I can just share that, that note to anybody who's picking for us. And they, nice. they kind of know what I'm looking for. Yeah. But those are standards. Really cool. Like, I don't know, not windows as much anymore because I think they're kind of going past their their, their peak. Unless it's a really um, beautiful arched shape. Old, um, old um, school charts and maps. Um, shoes, old shoes. I look for, um, yeah. <laughs> Do you know which weekend is the last Elkhorn? I don't. I've got to look that up. It's always in September, though. I think, right? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. You want me to look it up? Sure. The Elkhorn okay. Flea. The Elkhorn Flea. Also, you know what, when I get up from this stool, from where I've been painting, and, and go in a different position, I can totally see, like, oh, I completely missed this. September 25th. Ooh, that might be a possibility. Joan, that might be a possibility. I might ask for that.
boy, is that gorgeous. You know, speaking of, um, Joan sees those glass doors behind you. Doesn't oh, know about them. Or Jane, gosh. sorry, Jane. Yeah, these window, they're window, well, they, they were, they were like arched with arched doors of some kind. I don't know what they were on, but they're really beautiful, aren't they? We've had them, I think we've had them for three years. Leah's here. She got it. Vern didn't let her out of work. Oh my time gosh. Again. Leah. He is really working your fingers to the bone. Um, let's talk about Ultra Grip for a second. Ultra Grip is a bonding agent. And it's like this it comes in two sizes. And when I want to tell you, I think we probably used maybe a quarter cup yeah. at, at the very most on this piece. When you apply Ultra Grip, like I said before, you want to make sure you clean and sand your piece just you were prepping for paint. Um, if it's an extra glossy piece, if it's a metal, if it's metal, if it is laminate, you're going to prep the same way. You're going um, to clean it well and sand. But the Ultra Grip, you apply and it creates a chemical bond with the furniture and, and gives it a, a little bit of a tack. But when you're applying it, you want to apply it super thin. I always have explained um, when we've done our kitchen workshops, for example, you, you're, you're applying it and brushing it out so that you almost begin to feel a little bit of a dry brush that is very, very light coat. Um, this for a few reasons, you don't want to overuse your product, but also um, it assures that you get that nice thin layer on there. That's all you need and it eliminates thicker brush strokes. Leah needs an HR person to step in for her with Vern. Oh, oh yeah. Megan, I'll do you do over, consulting? I do. I'll fax over some documents to you today, Leah. <laughs> um, just fill those out and get them back to me. Go from there. Lisa, what do you do with trophies? I have an attic full of them. Four adult kids, all very athletic. I want them. I think probably not that kind. Yeah, she wants much older trophies. She said, of course, they're plastic. Yeah, um, yeah. not those, but the, the trophies that I look for, like from the turn of the century and early 1900s, and they're metal, and they're, they're called loving cups, and they, they are those beautiful shaped beautiful shaped cups with the handles. Like they, they really don't. Look at, now they're all plastic. Some of those marching band are pretty nice also. But, but I have, um, it, don't, don't I collect them for us, but I also have gotten them and sold them too here at the shop, but it just depends on the pricing on them, you know? The one mom has in her house. She doesn't know this, but I've been having them all secretly engraved. <laughs> Have you? Awarding me for different things. Aww. Well, <laughs> I could get you a trophy. You want, you want to be employee of the month? I well, want to be. <laughs> I've been the employee of the month every single year, every single month. Since Actually, no, one, one year month you know, gave it to one, JR. One month, one month I gave it to JR, and I, he was on a razor's at. <laughs> With his attitude. And he also was very proud. He was very he was proud. So but he proud. got a little bit too big for his britches after a little bit. <laughs> Wanting us to get his coffee. It just, yeah, just sassy. Just being sassy. Like, hey, hey, I'm employee of the month. So, yeah. And mm -hmm. will not be tolerated. I'll yeah. snatch it right back away from you as fast as I can. <laughs> Megan? You are something, girl. <laughs> That's really pretty. Already. Thank you. I think it's really beautiful. It's a good color, isn't it? Oh, you can donate trophies to Special Needs Olympics. I didn't know that. That's great. Oh, to know. what a great idea! Because you can probably retag them. Yep. Just like I did with the ones at your house. Right. That's actually a, a good, that's a good thing to know. Yeah. 
Horse Nevis like, Savings. Is that my nineteen twenty three um Buffalo tennis match it does champion? That, unfortunately yeah. it does say number one daughter. Megan. <laughs> Your siblings. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when they notice it. <laughs> oh my word. Is there anything more satisfying than painting a piece of furniture? Yes. I'm <laughs> yeah. So many things. So many. Leftover lasagna <laughs> comes to mind. Oh, <laughs> really? Um, yeah, there's just a lot. You must have made lasagna for dinner last night. I didn't, but oh. I don't know why. There's just like the next day. Lasagna is very satisfying. It really is good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's always better the next day. Oh, I made the avocado. Sunburn. That's oh, very sad. So satisfying. It's <laughs> the best. Yeah. Freezing fresh corn and putting it in neat little flat packets in your freezer. That's no. very satisfying. Yeah, I would say no to that. <laughs> but Leah said yes, watching you paint furniture. Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> You really, it's like you really do kind of understand what a thing Bob Ross had going on. Because truly, I mean, yes, he taught people to paint. Um, and I'm sure people painted along with him. But, man, it's mesmerizing to watch somebody yes. paint, isn't it? Um, did I post a link to the print? No, but I can to that paper. Well, I said I was going to come in with a detail brush, but guess what? I don't think I am. Well, I don't think you really need to. Yeah, I don't know why. Try, um, I won't be paying for her Halloween things. And then uh, Friday, I'll give this a second coat. I have a lot of videos to edit that have to do with Christmas. There's the link for you. So while I'm on vacation, mom will be answering some emails. Oh gosh. Can you please clean up your emails? They're all caught up. Okay. Anything. I, I never junk. leave anything unread. No, I'm talking about junk mail. It, and all it, that it stuff. makes no difference to you. All of them that you need to read will be in bold print at the top. Okay. So yeah, we want to let this dry for at least at least four hours before we add a second coat. Wow, is that pretty? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty or yeah. Yeah. What else would I be saying? Well, I didn't Saying know if it. you were answering somebody or. No, I like to read the questions aloud. Okay. I'll get all caught up on shipping the day before I leave, and then mom will do a big day of shipping while I'm gone. I know she's going to do a great job, and not forget to give anyone a cookie. And then, again, so we'll still be the legs outside of our normal shipping. Judy said that color really suits the. It is beautiful. I'm looking in the camera and seeing it. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, so I'm going to make a quick shift here over to our table. Sorry, guys. That's very gentle. Making you sick. But here is my door. We're going to get a decoupage on that. Love working with these decoupage queen papers. Oh, here's a really important tip. If you have taken your door off, make sure that when you apply decoupage paper, you're putting it on in the right direction. Essential tip. 
I've, I'm telling you, I've, yes. I've done it. I have put things on upside down and ugh, never good. Okay, so she is going to go on here like this. Everybody see okay? Yep. And I am just trimming out around my hand just a touch. You know, and the beautiful thing is, is even if you have a little bit excess, a little bit showing, like right there, I would just touch that up with my paint. We're not going to stress out about it. Are we kids? Actually talking to me. Oh. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. She doesn't care about beating me. <laughs> and I won't be anywhere near Alcorn. I'm sure I'll be here at the shop. Slaving away. Deborah asked, does Ultra Grip work with all paints? Good question. Well, Deborah, I'm going to give you my pat answer here. I don't know because I don't use all paints. What do you think of that answer? <laughs> it is a regal color. The other colors too, they are so incredible. And with the decoupage clean paper, it's a rice paper, so I'm telling you it flattens right down. And Mary said the color looks like it belongs to the gentleman's lounge. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Jenny Lynn called this collection, they, they were going for like scholastic, like I forget the terminology that she used, but kind of an old moody, like that very moody, deep. I don't overwork this paper or over rub it because it is fibrous. It can kind of rub away. But I uh, see I will take like the package or saran wrap and use that if I do have a wrinkle I'll kind of use that to press that paper down so that um, I don't have as much direct I don't have direct contact with the paper. She looks like your daughter, Lisa. Oh, that's so sweet. The one that just moved home. We have a redheaded. Um, Hattie is a redhead. Hattie is a redhead. Yes, she is. use a brayer, but I would use it over top of um, like the plastic. Like always have a barrier between. Yeah, I would just because 
the medium soaks right up into this paper and so if you start applying anything directly to it like a brayer and and apply any pressure to it it, it can pull up those fibers that happen and it's not not pretty you guys and when it's fibrous like that it's i would imagine it's hard to harder to blend absolutely yeah okay so let's go back to our piece right here can we see that Good. Yep. Okay. I mean, it depends on how close you want to be. And remember this. So I'm going to do a straighten my first. She's going to need another coat of oh, yeah. the Chessler, and I'll add a link to that color. Oh, yeah. I will be adding a second coat. I always do two coats of paint. at least. Always. I would say it's like a good manicure. You want a good base and two coats. This is so blended. I don't think it's going to even matter. No. Like you mean like exactly the spot? Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. think so either. gonna use my finger to trace the outline of the oval. You are standing right in front of it though. I don't oh, know. I'm sorry. That matters to you. <laughs> it's hard not to though. So I traced the outline of that little arch with my thumbnail. and I didn't, so I got a little bit of extra paint right in there. But I would think once you get that paper in there, you're not going to really notice. Well, it was like down in here. Okay. It was pulling up down there. So that we don't, have that. don't want that. The color is gorgeous in person. It's picking up pretty well on camera, I think. Yeah, that's good. Look at you. That is Look good. Look at you. Measuring with the old fingernail again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't get it there. Because your nails are probably kind of thick. A little bit, yeah. I am going to get a detail brush to apply my medium. Wow, this is so pretty. What do you think, guys? Do I add a little gold? Not asking Megan because I know what she'll say. Well, that's rude. Or copper. <gasps> like the copper, almost the color of her hair. Copper would be pretty. Are you feeling it or not? I don't know. I gotta. See, I think I gotta see the door on there. Yeah. Wait, I can see how I can pick up her copper tendrils. Um, Jane says, yes, yeah, copper. Jane says. I get a little medium on my paint here because it's going to be transparent and I got to put a second coat on this anyway. Just to make sure I get completely covered. Do you need me to get you some copper? No. Or you're going to wait? No, because I got to do a yeah. second coat anyway. <laughs> oh, 
I can't get it with my finger now. Copper over the gold. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Everyone wins in that case, right? Her nails are red. Yes, they are. I love that red. It's a nice, true, bright red. Love it. Yes. James loved it too. He told oh me it's very pretty. It's very pretty. This is getting very, very weird. <laughs> Why? We're in a relationship with James. Oh, we over my nails. How do you know he's going to be there? Do you make an appointment? I don't. Or no, do I don't. Pray? But I just happen to get him every time. Did we talk on here before about the time Katie got? <gasps> no, we didn't. My sister got a pedicure and the guy blew on her toenails to dry. <laughs> no, I like my uh, I like my my manicure fist to be a little more <laughs> hands off. <laughs> Yeah, you yes. do like the massage. I love a massage, but I don't want them blowing on my toes. That's just a little peculiar to me. A little peculiar, you guys. Joan said, I'm amazed at how quickly you're transforming this piece. It's really cool, isn't it? And it is true, Jane. That really did happen. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I don't think she's ever gone back. Well, of course she hasn't. Does it work with DIY? What? What works with DIY? You don't even know what we're talking about. Culture group? We weren't even talking about culture group, though. If you decoupage, you can decoupage over DIY. You have to seal it first. Yeah, I prefer sealing it. Start. Sophia, could you put this in water for me, please, honey? What's that? <laughs> she said, where's the water? Oh, over there. <laughs> there should be a, a cup or something that has water in it. Sophia, by the way, is eating your candy. Yes. Everyone is. Every time they are walks by, she really walks yeah, by. Yeah, like what happened to all those caramels? No, not the caramels. They're like the fruit juice. No, but I'm saying, like, our the candy goes pretty quickly around here. Yeah, the caramels lasted a long time, and there was a lot less, less caramels than there were to the tools. Leave it in the water, Mom? Yes, please. Thank you, Sophia. Yes, that is Sophia, the new teenager. A fresh, a brand new teenager. What is in the corner of this? It's well, all right. You no, know, it was blocking. It was? Yes. Oh, like oh because I was over. Yeah. All right. Well, look, guys, I'm going to quickly put this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um. You just want to kind of show them? Yeah, I do want to kind of show you. And what I'll do is I will paint the edge of this drawer. Yeah. There's always a delay. But you can see how that's going to look. Super cute. I give it a big thumbs up. Look at those colors and how beautifully that blends. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Oh, my fingers are right there. What do you think? Is that that black line? Yeah. It's probably the arm of that. It's never happened before. Yeah, it might be just the way I have it positioned. Or, or I could have turned the phone the other way. 
I have the I have the camera too close to here. Oh, how many weeks left of Basement Chronicles? Oh, Chronicle? so many. Jeez. So many. Anyway, there it is, you guys. I'm going to add a pretty tiny little knob on this. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, this will get a second coat on Friday. I will seal this up. And, um, yeah. Catch your tiny little bare spot but it is a gorgeous gorgeous piece it really really is so thank you guys thank you again for joining us here today week 25 of the basement chronicles megan is literally going so i like being with everyone i just saw the filming down here that's all that's all because it's always something well it's always something upstairs too no well we have a lot more control and stable Better right. lighting, a more stable. I can't. Good. Comfortable place to film. Hey, I will. And who is filming here from PBS? He does a retail shopping local, uh, buff, like a Western New York Excuse PBS. Me, I didn't know that. Yes, he was here on Saturday. Spent quite a bit of time, wow. and I showed him where we record and film, and he's like, actually, I'm quite impressed. I he's got. He didn't show him down here. No, I didn't have to. <laughs> but I was, he was, I was like, oh my goodness, really? I said, we were thinking of like hanging the lighting. He goes, oh, I wouldn't because then you give up your flexibility. He said, but yeah, you got know, the mic, the location for every, lighting. You got it. I would never. He said to me, he was so sweet. He said, he, we walked back up and, and he kind of shook his head and he said, I just never would have looked at you and imagined that you did all of that. Wow. It's like, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not sure what that means, but it's like, hey, we do whatever we got to do to stay relevant. <laughs> wow, well, not whatever we got to do. Right? All right, well, guys, thank you so much. We will see you um, Friday. on Friday. Yes, we'll be upstairs, and um, and yeah, who knows what we're gonna work on? Who knows? Who knows I'm what gonna, the world will bring, what will happen? But yes, yes. So um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for bearing with us. And what a beautiful project with Decoupage Queen and the new fusion mural paint called Chester. Bye, guys. <laughs>